Hey there, everybody. My name is Joyce Somondiwai Higa, and this is Full Circle with Joyce Kar Karibuni Tena <laughs> to the show. This is the second hour of the program this morning. And uh, in this hour, we're going to be bringing you our fitness segment later on. Uh, but before that, we'll be touching on your emotional bank and how to make sure you're balancing that right. Okay. But before we do all that, uh, I want us to take a look at our quote for the day. This one is by Maury Schwartz and it says, The most important thing in life is to learn how to give out love and to let it come in. I'll read that again. The most important thing in life is to learn how to give out love and to let it come in again. That was said there by Maury Schwartz this morning uh, is our quote for the day. And let me just shout out those of you engaging with us on our Facebook page. Uh, that's at Switch TV Kenya. Also on Twitter as at Switch TV Kenya. You can also comment on Instagram at Switch TV KE and on our SMS line triple one triple four triple one. But Iman James, shout out to you. You're watching the show and following along from Mombasa. I also have Clap Patrice Madai uh, from Rero Bypass. Kevin Paul Owinombai. Wasema Ndani Sana Kwenye Show. You're watching from Siaya. Frank Mtalo, you quote from us John chapter 1 verse 4, verse 4, saying in him was life and the life was the light of men. Thank you for that. Laughter's Woto saying good morning. I'm tuned in enjoying the show. I have Fadili Chi Techi watching from Mumias. Wasema show in Atesa. Clemo Di Mateo from Timboroa Massive Present. Ses Empress Isaacs from Naivasha. Um... Iman James there sending his greetings to Milka Wanjiru from Oyole. I also have Noah Mutavi Mutavi from TUK, Asante Sana, Memoy Aska, Charles Moiruri, Samuel Nyakwar Olwen, um, you're tuning in, Carol Robs, uh, Kageni Mali Mali, Karis Babake, Chris watching in from Karen. Thank you very, very much to all of you for your feedback and your comments this morning. Keep them coming in once again to our Facebook page at Switch TV Kenya. Now, we want to switch gears now and uh, move into our next segment and really talk about our emotions and specifically how to balance the emotional bank account. So uh, my guest here in studio is Eric Kotani. Karibu sana to the show. Thank you, Great Jace. to have you here this morning. Thank you, Jace. Thank you for having me. You're most welcome. Yeah. Um, all of us have an emotional bank. Even guys. <laughs> Even guys have an emotional bank. Um, maybe for some, I don't know if we describe it as bigger or smaller or <laughs> maybe just more expressive, tighter sealed than <laughs> other people's <laughs> is. Uh, but we're all, all of us deal with emotions in one way or another and that's kind of what we want to talk about today how to actually be able to balance those but before we do maybe you can uh, briefly tell us a bit about yourself you have a humongous stack of books there <laughs> definitely <laughs> tell us a bit about yourself very briefly uh i'm pastor eric kotani a minister in a church uh, called jesus evangelism ministries mm -hmm. in umoja too mm -hmm. i'm uh, an author of spiritual books I'm a financial and leadership consultant. Okay. So that is part of what I do. All right. Uh, a part of the work that I've done is uh, 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 Prayer Fundamentals. This uh -huh. is a prayer book just mm -hmm. telling us uh, a bit about prayer, power for prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, I've also done One Mind with Christ, mm -hmm. showing us how we can use our body, soul, and spirit in our, in our spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. I've also done Break Free from Habits of Sin, uh, The Power of Sacrifice in Deliverance. Mm -hmm. Then there is God's Kingdom Government. Wow. Yeah, just explaining uh, the governmental mandate of every believer. Okay. And how to fulfill that on earth, in a physical earth. Okay. Then finally, we have Kingdom of Priests just trying to uh, teach us and explain to us the uh, priesthood of a believer mm. and the king uh, the kingship mandate of the believer okay so th that is part of the work that i've done okay all right well congratulations to you that's quite uh, a feat to have written all of those books Thank in you. addition to everything else that you're doing Thank you. um uh, but so as we were talking about here you know 
many of us, you know, will express our emotions in, in, in hopefully mostly positive ways. Uh, but we all sort of have, I don't know if we want to call it a limit of emotions or a sort <laughs> of bank that there is because we're calling this the emotional bank account. Right. Explain that to us. Because uh, that implies there's, you know, a threshold, there's <laughs> a limit as well. <laughs> Allow me first to lay a foundation so that we understand what we are talking about. Uh, trust is the basis for every relationship and it's key to optimizing our relationships. Without trust, there is no relationship. Mm -hmm. So an emotional bank account um, is just a metaphor for describing the building up of trust points, uh, so to speak, in a relationship so that uh, in our interactions with our partners or spouses, uh, uh, our interactions become pleasurable and pleasant. Mm -hmm. One key thing that we need to understand is that uh, in a relationship, we all try, we, we, uh, the, the parties in a relationship usually try to influence each other positively because we seek agreements on decisions that we make. We seek agreements on on, on, on even our communications. And agreement is a function of, of influence. And there is no influence without trust. Mm. And there is no trust without character. So character is key in having trust in the relationship. Uh, we are not going to use emotional uh, bank account as a magic wand that we swing and say, um, bingo, we have a good relationship. Uh, even as we understand what emotional bank account is, we should not lose focus of, 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 of the being in the relationship. Remember, we are human beings, not human do's. Mm -hmm. So the first thing wha that we need to do is to work on ourselves so that when we interact with our partners, when we interact with our spouses, uh, the basis of that interaction is trust. Okay. So an emotional bank account is, 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 uh, uh, works uh, almost uh, similar like a, a normal bank account where there are deposits, and withdrawals and as you deposit as you withdraw the accumulation of the deposits or the depleting of the deposits is going to affect the health of the relationship mm. this is basically about trust mm -hmm. yeah okay um and uh then it seems that many of us would not actually understand this right and maybe that's where we have a lot of friction in our relationships mm. because we've not understood this Essentially, it's about giving and taking, and when right, you when you right. when you take, you also have to replenish, mm, right? Otherwise, mm. you go broke. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Uh, and maybe many of us haven't actually understood this, and uh, maybe you can then comment on the danger of walking around empty emotionally. Mm, first of all, we have to uh, to agree that nobody needs any special training in, in treating each other well. Mm -hmm. You don't need any special training in being courteous, yes. being kind and being appreciative of one another. Mm -hmm. Even if you do not know about an emotional bank account, which is simply a metaphor, uh, yeah, as you interact with your partner, there's a reason why you have come together. And uh, in your interactions, there must be, uh, there must be courtesy, there must be kindness, there mu you must care for each other. Mm. So when uh, you run on a dry emotional bank account, it means that what you have done, you have allowed your relationship to go on autopilot so that as you communicate, as you interact, uh, you are not intentional in the things that you are doing in your interaction with your partner. Mm. So that uh, you may find that... Uh, Whereas before when you are dating, you were pleasant to be with, but now uh, that uh, the, the wife is home or the partner is home, you, you have won them over. You're no longer intentional in the things that you do. Yeah. There is no please, there is no love, uh, honey, there is, uh, we forget those things and we allow it to run on autopilot so that we want to get dividends where we have not invested. Mm. So uh, over time, as you allow the withdrawals to take place, you find yourself working with a depleted uh, uh, emotional bank account. Uh, sometimes you may find your, uh, your emotional bank account is in the red, which means there are no longer any deposits. It's mm -hmm. just been withdrawal and withdrawal and withdrawal. Mm -hmm. So you find there are fights, there are, stru uh, there, there, there are arguments in the relationship, mm. and uh, your partner is no longer pleasant. Okay. Yeah. 
is is that the way to tell if if we're running low in our because it's kind of hard to visualize right it's yeah. not like money you can count mm. and see your 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 impesa balance or whatever like that mm. um h- how do you know when you are actually low on your emotional threshold like your emotional bank balance is nearing zero mm. you're, you've mm. overdrawn on it how, <laughs> how do you know uh your partner is your barometer okay uh whereas before uh, you'd uh, uh, enjoy communication but now communication is forced uh it is measured it's like when you are communicating you're working on a minefield you know there is something wrong mm. uh, 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 statements that you used to make before that were taken lightly now generates heated arguments you know there's a problem so in your interaction with your partner uh, if the response is not pleasant you know that you're running low and you need to call yourself to order and start making important deposits into that uh, emotional bank account. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Remember, you can send in your feedback and your questions to triple one triple four triple one. Also, comment on Facebook at Switch TV Kenya and uh, let us know uh, where you are at as far as your own emotional bank is concerned and whether you're understanding uh, how to even balance your emotional bank account. That when you give. You also have to take, you know, you need to <laughs> credit and debit. <laughs> it's like accounting. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so let us know your feedback and your comments. I think we're taking a break at this point. Okay. So we still have a few more moments before we go on break. And uh, actually, as you've said that the couple, your your partner is is going to be your barometer. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of hard to 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 know that because i feel like sometimes you know these things that you you eat away at the relationship very slowly and so by the time the partner is lipukaying like maybe this issue started three years ago mm. right um so at you know I, I guess maybe we need to talk very candidly about the signals like so that from day one we are recognizing that there's a problem mm. as soon as we see even a slight change in attitude that should be concerning to us because mm. you don't want to allow things to fester and to grow until now they are completely out of hand which mm. i think is what most of us tend mm. to do mm. uh i would i would i'd use the analogy of 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 sickness or a disease you see before the sim- symptoms come out there already there's already a problem it takes time before the symptoms show up mm. so don't wait for the symptoms to show up Mm-hmm. Be intentional in your relationship. Mm. Uh, don't wait for the signals that something is wrong. Don't wait for that time. You see, a relationship, uh, though it's about two people, but there are three personalities involved. The first personality is yourself. The second personality is your partner. And that is the third personality, which is the relationship itself. Sometimes we forget about the third personality and we focus on the two, that we miss out. So, uh, the, uh, uh, deposits must constantly be made mm. because that is what is going to uh, uh to 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 promote the health of the relationship okay if we forget to make deposits then symptoms are going to start showing up so my encouragement or my advice is that don't wait until the symptoms start showing right yes just continue making deposit and deposit because a relationship is about caring for one another okay yeah. and you've raised an interesting point that to continue depositing yes right and I, i'm sure someone is going to ask but what if i've at what isn't it supposed to be 50 50 and i want us to address that when we get yeah. back uh, yeah. from this break you know is it about just me depositing 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 now <laughs> withdraw withdraw <laughs> how do we actually balance that now in the relationship triple one triple four triple one is the sms line and also comment on facebook at switch tv kenya i'll be back with pastor eric katani after this Hey guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Pastor Eric Kotani and we're talking about uh, balancing the emotional bank account this morning. And uh, indeed, he had said uh, in a relationship, you don't want to wait until the symptoms start showing. Same with an illness. That's often 
quite late, right? Um, so you kind of need to play the part of depositing into the relationship and playing your part. But I guess a lot of people would then ask, you know, at what point am I doing too much? Depositing, overextending myself. Is there something like that, that I am over depositing? <laughs> we talk about overdrafts and over withdrawals, but is there a point at which one can be over depositing into a relationship and not having the same returned back to them? Um, it takes two to tango. And uh, I think sometimes you may feel that you are over depositing and your partner is doing uh, largely withdrawals. <laughs> uh, large ones. Uh, yes, <laughs> large withdrawals so that uh, in, a very sh in, in a very short time, uh, the reserves are, uh, are, 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 are to the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I can advise is that uh, uh, be the good one in the relationship because uh, as much uh, when you make uh, uh, deposits over a period of time mm. with minimal withdrawals, uh, there are times you will need that deposit in your relationship. So I don't think that you should look at your partner and say, you are only making withdrawals mm. and you are not making deposits. So I'm going to follow you. Two wrongs <laughs> do not make do a not right. Make a right. Yeah, so I think it's important just to continue making deposits. Be the good one in the relationship. Okay. Yeah, okay. don't take the wrong example. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, I also need to remind guys, by the way, that you can stream this show uh, that's on Switch TV Kenya. Uh, Switch TV, K-E forward slash live um, uh, if you're having any trouble with the signal this morning you can also stream it you can also download the switch tv app and watch it that way so call a friend to call a friend and let them know as well so they don't miss out on any of these conversations and with that said you can also comment on our facebook page so that i can see it quickly um, but as we continue then um, taking you back a little bit then um, that we don't want to wait for the symptoms to begin to show. Mm -hmm. There's this idea then of communicating and being honest mm -hmm. in your relationship. So communicating honestly, yeah. but kindly, mm -hmm. but also the timing of the, of the communication then would come into play. Mm -hmm. Because if we're saying sometimes if you're waiting for a symptom, it's, it's kind of too long. You're, you're communicating when it's too late. Yeah. So... Yeah. When do you start communicating if you feel this emotional bank deposits is, is kind of being heavily withdrawn and you yourself are not sure you can sustain it at that point? At what point do you begin communicating that you're not happy with something? Uh, communication is a, an important matter in every, uh, in every relationship. Uh, in your interaction with your partner, I think the first thing that uh, the two of you must have with each other is understanding. You must understand your partner. Your partner must also understand you. If there is understanding, you'll be able to be open uh, in your interactions. Mm -hmm. You'll have open uh, communication. You'll be able to say, uh, I don't like this. I like this. Mm -hmm. well, let us handle it this way. You don't wait until there are problems because communication is an ongoing thing mm -hmm. in every relationship. Mm. It, should, it, should, it should happen each and every day. And sometimes somebody doesn't need to be explicit in their communication. Mm. M when the, the trust levels are high in a relationship, most of the communication is implicit. You just know that this person feels like this. They have not really uttered a word. But because of the understanding and the connection, mm. because relationship is about connection, when you are really connected and uh, trust levels are high, uh, sometimes you don't even need to open your mouth and say something. Your mm. partner will definitely, uh, definitely know. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Um, as we continue, I see a couple of you commenting, uh, you know, that there's a problem with the signal. Uh, Cynthia, Kavata, I hear you. Christine, Jerry as well. Um, thank you for that feedback. I'm sure the team, the technical team, will be working on it as soon as possible. Apologies for that. But remember, you can again stream online uh, and and still catch the episode that way now as we continue here uh, Pasi I want to ask you then for those who are at a place where it's almost too late they've communicated a little too late mm. the symptoms have now manifested into the whole disease or illness mm. um, is it possible to restore an emotional 
bank account. I know we, we, we're using this analogy of depositing, but you know, it's, it's your emotions. Yes. And there's almost a point where we're like, when it's over, it's over. You're, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Mm. Is it possible to refill or restore an emotional bank account with the person? Like any other bank account, the normal bank account that we have, sometimes it's, it's, it, it, it goes into dormancy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, it's uh, below the the uh, the, the, the allowed uh, minimum balance. Mm. It doesn't mean that you forget about the bank account. You can uh, you can uh, uh, you can go back and start depositing. Mm. But for uh, when it comes to the relationship, the key thing is trust. Sometimes when trust is lost, it becomes difficult to restore it. But there is a chance to restore trust there. Uh, uh, there are happenings in a relationship that can really destroy completely uh, the trust levels in a relationship. Right. So that even if uh, the reserves were this high, for example, there is uh, infidelity involved, there are people who may not be able to handle that in a relationship. Mm. So there are certain happenings, there are certain actions that uh, completely overdraw the account to an extent that it becomes... Uh, uh, extremely difficult to replenish mm -hmm. but uh, having said that i think couples should always try uh, that even when they uh, discover that uh, the reserves are low mm. they can still do the things they used to do when they were dating they can still do the things they did during their honeymoon if they're in a, a marital relationship mm -hmm. let the honeymoon Continue. Yes. <laughs> Let the animal continue. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. You you always need to be dating your spouse. You yeah. need to keep things fresh. Yeah. 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 That is true. Uh, relationships have challenges. Uh, you had asked earlier, what about if you are just depositing and your your partner is is, is busy withdrawing? Mm -hmm. There are such relationships, mm -hmm. and it becomes very difficult because do you are doing your best, but your partner is like the the. It's like they are not involved. It's like they are not intentional in the way they they relate with you. Mm. Uh, uh, one thing I have to mention here is that you cannot change your partner. Mm -hmm. They have to make their own concise decision, right? And 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 also be able to make deposits. If they continue making withdrawals over time, you will find yourselves not having a relationship. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. And it is, uh, someone actually said that the difference between happy couples and unhappy couples is how they manage their emotional bank account. Mm -hmm. It's that central to mm -hmm. a relationship mm -hmm. because this is your heart. This is trust is involved. Very yes. serious feelings are involved. And uh, it's, it's very interesting that literally that could make or break the difference between you being in a happy relationship versus you not being in a happy relationship. And so, you know, I want to continue to ask you guys, what kind of things have you done recently to make a deposit? into your significant other and into your relationship. And uh, Pasi has already given us a suggestion. Keep the honeymoon phase going.